This is Bud Brownsville. And seated beside me on my left is one of, or well, the fifth progeny, one of my assets. And this message is going to be called, What is Veganism? Hi, Sydney. Hi, Dad. How are you? Good. Welcome to Bud Browns with LLC. Anyway, um, it is my understanding, my knowledge, my experience that you are practicing, exercising veganism. I'm vegetarian. Oh, you're a vegetarian, so I got it wrong. What is a vegetarian? So, a vegetarian is a person who doesn't eat animal flesh, but they eat like eggs and milk. Well, dairy and eggs. Dairy and eggs. But you don't eat animal flesh? No. There's no flesh in an egg? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's no flesh in an egg. <laughs> this is our video. <laughs> Okay, yeah. vegan, a vegetarian, not vegan. I'm sorry. Okay, so what is the benefits of vegetarianism? Well, for me, because I do it for the animals, it's just uh. You do it for the animals. What do you mean you do it for the animals? Like, well, <laughs> because my eventual goal is veganism. So, vegetarianism is like the final step for me be before becoming a vegan so it's my benefit is that I have like a more a more a greater peace of mind to say so okay. that like I'm not eating the animals I'm not contributing to you know eating animals we had an interruption on our video. Okay, so you're not eating the animals, and you're contributing what to I guess the life supply or the life cycle yeah. that you think. But isn't eating animals part of the life cycle? Part of whose life cycle? Part of whose life? A good answer. Good question. Okay. Well, <laughs> eating animals is part of my life cycle, of which I'm toning down and getting my diet back or my habits back on point I'm a pescatarian or I claim to be a pescatarian you know faces <laughs> pescatarian so I eat fish so I have fish and other things but I'm going back to fish um, anyway so I think you mentioned already the benefits of vegetarianism for you um, going from a different choice of foods that you ate in the past to now do you notice the difference or is it just mental um, I think my face got clearer because of it but it could have been because I'm using black soap now so I don't know Okay, so what else is entailed with vegetarian? Um, I know veganism doesn't use anything animal or any animal products. So animal fats, etc., etc. So it can't be in your deodorant, can't be in your lip gloss, can't be in your shampoo, etc. So what else do you do as far as your routine that contributes to vegetarianism or yeah, vegetarianism, not veganism. Vegetarianism. Well, what do you drink? Uh, I've been drinking more water. Plain water? Plain water and um, chia seed water with lemon. Chia seed water with lemon. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is that for? Well, it's supposed to help you, like, be more full. Like, because the chia seeds, when you when you drink them, they expand in your stomach, so you don't eat as much during the day. So why not just eat food? But it's supposed to help me not eat as much food. 
What's wrong with food? Food is good for you. Yeah. I'm joking. And okay. it tastes good. It tastes good. So chia seeds, lemon, and water. Yeah. How many times a day? How often? Well, when I started, it was like twice a day. And then, like, as I went forward, and then I ran out of chia seeds. So I stopped for like a week or two. And then now it's like maybe three times a week. And again, th the purpose of this is to prevent you from, or to curve your appetite. Yeah. So, um, prior to this type of diet, you ate a lot, fried foods yeah. and um, junk food and that nature. So, curbing that appetite, or this is a way of curbing that appetite. Yeah. Okay. So, other than that drink, what else do you drink? Um, I drink pro Propel. Propel? Yeah. What is that? Like this. I We're not like endorsing them. Oh, okay. Well, you drink it, It's not that good because it has salt in it, but... It I'm, doesn't taste good as salt? I'm sorry, no, what you just it, said? No, it tastes good, but it's not that good for you because it has salt in it. And oh, it's supposed to be You don't want to like put that on the video? Oh. We talk about good stuff. Well, yeah, okay. Oh. Okay. But bi is good, too. Bi is what? It's like a, um... It's like a, a flavored water. Okay. And that's good for you? Um, from what I know, yeah. So where are you getting your information from? Um, about the drinks or about like... Everything. Protein? Where are you getting your information from? Why? What made you... I mean, okay, you, you said you was trying to avoid eating the animals. I get that. But what compels you to consider vegetarians or that vegetarian lifestyle? Like what started me on? Yeah, what started you? You and mommy. Don't blame us, cause we cheat. Like, well, because when you introduced us to almond milk and you were saying I like you weren't gonna buy meat anymore, but like back then it wasn't for the animals for me. Like it wasn't, it wasn't really a big deal to give up meat. Right. And we kept turkey, so I wasn't really hooked on chicken, and then I just kept going so it was an easy transition yeah all right so basically the purpose of this video um you know i made fun of it um to reach out to the younger um age group and to let them know that there are people your age doing this stuff because not only me i'm 47 not only have i del uh, delved into um vegetarianism and delved into pescatarianism and I tried to find my niche of where I wanted to go. Um, at first it was a religious thing, whereas we're not supposed to eat these things. Then I furthered my studies and realized you can eat certain things. The reason why you should not eat certain things, and not, I'm not going to speak in cold, let me speak plain. The, the reason why we should not be eating animals is anything that can fear you you should not consume. If you notice in a fishbowl, if you go up to the tank and you know tap the tank and the fish move, that means it can fear you. You should not be eating that. Why? Because when an animal fears you or when you fear someone else, you produce these pheromones or hormones, forgot that whatever it's called, and it's not a good thing. So when you ingest that, it's not good for your body. So I can go into more detail with that. Um, I should have did more research and had it available for this video, but this is just an introduction. We'll do a part two later on and follow up, but that's basically why you really shouldn't eat animals. If they can fear you, you should not consume them because of that fear that is um, let off in their bodies or that adrenaline or whatever that, that thing is that is let off in the body. You shouldn't be consuming that. Um, other than that, if you go back to the um, the Old Testament, where the laws strictly outlined the foods that were consumable and the foods that weren't consumable, you have the bottom feeders like crabs and crustaceans that eat off the bottom of the floor. You know, you're not supposed to eat pigs and pork because of their, of, you know, how that came about and what that's about. I mean, so my journey has been all over the place, and now I'm pescatarian, and I've cheated and ate you know different um, meats but I'm going back as of this weekend to straight and don't you <laughs> laugh at me 
somebody's struggling over there. I ain't gonna talk about her struggles, but I'm going to um, go back to what I have been doing. It's been working. And you get a clearer mind, um, clearer skin, um, drinking a lot of water, a lot of uh, clear liquids is good for you. My thing is I don't drink a lot of water, just pure water, because it lacks minerals. So I make my own type of concoctions that have the minerals included into it. I make my own capsules and herbal supplements to complement the, um, the lack of nutrients that are in the foods that we eat and we prepare ourselves. So I can't do the raw food. I think veganism is raw food. Uh, raw, not all veganism. Not all. Well, I can be corrected. You know, there are like there's a I forgot the name of the ism, but they eat raw foods. Nothing cooked. Everything's raw. Uh, that is very good. You you know the you, you get the benefits of the foods that you eat and the nutrients within it. Because once you cook the food, it loses some minerals and loses some um, vitamins. And when you add certain things to it, it conflicts. But that's another story, another time. Moving on back, this is Sydney. Sydney's a vegetarian. And I thought I'd introduce you to someone your age. <clears throat> or maybe introduce someone to someone that is your child's age and give you inspiration that you can do the same. Um, perhaps in another video or follow up, we can talk about the shampoos that she uses, the skincare products that she uses, natural products. Um, if I'm not mistaken, she makes some things herself. I don't know where she got that from, but it's all good. So thank you for visiting us. You got anything else you want to say? Mm, not really. No, not really. Can you tell she's comfortable in front of the camera? She's an actress. <laughs> Signing off, Bud Browns with LLC. Thank you for visiting. Like, subscribe, and share this video. And tell everybody that Sydney's a vegetarian. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye.